English verbs can be expressed in any of three moods. Let's take a look at them. Most common is the indicative mood, which is used to state facts, such as in this sentence, I walk the dog in the morning. We also have a mood called the imperative, which is used to give orders or advice, such as in this sentence, remove your hat, charlatan. Finally, we occasionally use the subjunctive mood in a few contexts. The first one is in contrary to fact clauses, Clauses about something that's not true, but could be true. There are two sentences here. The first reads, if I were a member of Congress, I would vote for that bill. And the second reads, John would buy a baseball team if he were rich. The clauses that follow if in both sentences are contrary to fact. I am not a member of Congress, but I want to talk about what I would do if I were one. And John is not rich, but if he were, he would sure buy a baseball team. The use of were there is evidence of the subjunctive mood. If usually delineates a contrary to fact clause, and notice how these verbs look different than the was we would use were we just talking in the indicative mood. Another context in which we use the subjunctive mood is clauses that express wishes or requests. There are two sentences on this slide as well. The first reads, I insist that Jen be told the truth. And the second reads, wouldn't you suggest that Judy drive the bus? Again, it looks like there are agreement errors here, but there aren't because we're using the subjunctive mood. The clause following, I insist that Jen be told the truth, takes the subjunctive verb, be told, and that Judy drive the bus takes the subjunctive verb, drive. In the present tense, the subjunctive always uses the base form of the verb, which is what makes it look different from a normal indicative use. Let's look at some examples. This slide has two sentences, each of which contains a very subtle error. The first one reads, it is important that you are prepared for the interview tomorrow. And the second reads, we asked that she types more accurately. While normally, you are would be a correct construction, because in this sentence, it follows, it is important that, some words that indicate that we're gonna use the subjunctive, we need to use the base form of the verb to be, which is be. Similarly, because she types more accurately, follows we asked that, it expresses a request, we should use the subjunctive form of the verb types, which is type. You can see that if we rewrite these sentences, they will read like this. It is important that you be prepared for the interview tomorrow, and we asked that she type more accurately.